everybody. I'm Emily. I am Megan's only sister, her little sister. <laughs> Megan and Casey were made for one another, and they are each other's equal partners. Together they are destined for greatness, and I know they will achieve so much. And Megan is, and she will always feel like home to me. And now, <laughs> she will be that for Casey, Luna, and their future kids. <laughs> I know you guys have been together for nine years tomorrow, which is very, very special, but tomorrow is really where the story begins. This is your next chapter. This is the next move, and I'm just so happy that everyone here is here to celebrate this special time. I love you guys, so let's go out with a bang. <laughs>
Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. And love never fails. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to stay in your intentions. Casey and Megan have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, continue joining the right things and declare your consent before God and His church. Hi, right, Casey. Thank you, Megan. Good to be my wife. I promise to be true. I promise to be true to you. Good times in good times and in bad, in sickness and in, health. in, sickness and in health, I will love you, I will love you and, honor you and honor you for all the days of my life. I, Megan, take you, Casey, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord and His goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with His blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Megan, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Casey, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Each and every one of you here, you are here because Megan and Casey's life was touched by you somewhere along the way. And they wanted you here tonight. So from all of us to all of you, thank you for being here.
And the second project that Casey worked on here in South Florida is the very building that you are sitting in tonight. In 10 months, we knocked it down and rebuilt it. Casey was an integral part of what you see here, which is a beautiful world-class yacht club that we are so proud of. It's been a long road, nine years, and I really have thought a lot about this, but can't think of many relationships that could have endured what they did over the last nine years of not seeing each other, getting a chance to date and be with each other. But they did. Now stories are supposed to have an ending. I don't have an ending. I only have a new beginning that starts here tonight as husband and wife. So, so I, would, I would like for all of you to join me in a toast, if you would, please. But I need a drink and I need my wife to join me. Here's to the last nine years of persistence and determination and love that you have shown for each other to get here tonight, to get all of us here tonight. May you use that same persistence and determination and love every day in your life going forward. May you have all of the happiness, all the joy, all the fun, and all the love that marriage can bring. But more than anything, may you have all of God's blessings and all of God's love upon you both each and every day. We respect you and we love you both so very much. To Mr. and Mrs. Alan Casey Mooney.